Hey guys, it's Logo722 here from LantRC, and I figured I'd let you in on a little bit of an update. So, last time I ran the Emacs, I ended up losing a little black clip that's on the bottom of the shock and a spring, because during that time of running it, I ended up pulling the shaft out of the eyelet on the bottom of the shock, so it swung freely. And I didn't notice it squatting so much until I got back into the house. I went outside and looked and looked and looked. Couldn't even find the spring, let alone the little black clip thing. Uh, so, I had to spend money. So why not spend a bunch of it? 60 bucks on Amazon.com and I got the Traxxas Big Bore Aluminum Shock Set for the Emacs Brushed Edition. And so far I've only got three of them installed. I've already pre-filled them. I filled them up with oil, made sure they were all good to go, clean and very nice looking shocks, titanium shafts, and the eyelets and the threads on the bottom of these shocks are much, much better than the stock ones. So with three down and five to go, We'll just see how well this thing holds up. So far, it seems like they're not quite strong enough because the shocks barely, with one on them, of course, barely holds a wheel up. I mean, it only pushes it up a little bit. So you'll definitely have to have both shocks on all corners to really see if it's going to work well. But I I have this, uh, well, I know for sure I'm definitely going to have to add some preload clips to these and I plan on buying some better springs in the future but uh, we'll just have to see how well this works out but not only is it an upgrade for the Emacs but I also bought a Hubson X4 Nano and I also got a mini hexacopter both of them fly great but I ended up accidentally stepping on that one already I had it for five seconds I was flying it a little bit it crashed lost a prop I was looking for it came back over and I stepped on it but I repaired, and the battery was dead by the time I tried to fly it again. So, we'll just see where it goes. So, I'll let you guys in on the look on it before I close out. We'll see you in a sec. Alright guys, I'm back now. I've completely finished the installation of the shocks. I also added new preload pre spacers to the front, and the same old ones to the back, except I've adjusted them, because these shocks are, in fact much softer than the stock ones over there so I added a little bit more preload and on the stock ones I actually had less preload on the front than I did on the back this time around I went ahead and just made them all the same and they all have more preload than they did so the same setup on the back that I normally had on the other one but more and then the same on the front so this one has the same now so I've got some batteries on charge, and I think I may see if we can't go out there and uh, have a little fun, test it out real quick. So, we'll see you guys in a hot second. So guys, here we are now with the Traxxas Emacs with the brand new Big Bore shocks installed. I figure I'll uh, see about setting the phone up in a good place, but maybe you guys can get to watch it. Kind of hauling around, so we'll see what I can do here. Hopefully you guys will be able to see that pretty good. So far the suspension feels really good. In it <clears throat> feels really smooth. It's really soaking the bumps up. So, hope you guys can see all that. But so far, 
I'm pretty impressed with the big bore shocks from Traxxas. Well worth it. And, ooh, yeah, that's where the, the springs have a flaw. But uh, so far very impressed and well worth it. And a simple upgrade on these springs and the rates uh, most likely will definitely help. So, uh, all in all, the big bore shocks are meeting my standards. So, this is Logo 722 from Lantar C. Signing out. We'll see you guys next time.